David has arrived, and we are going to the cities. For what? You'll find out. Bye, Sadie. Bye bye. I'll see you in a few days. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good girl. He miss you. Oh, get those ears. Rolo is sleeping so nice, so I'm not gonna wake him up. But I am leaving him here for a few days. So that we can go somewhere very exciting. Long time no see, bro. Yeah. So are they actually women dressed up as mermaids or are they like There are women dressed up as mermaids, but the attention to detail is so well done. They actually pull off looking like a mermaid. So David and I are at the Renaissance Festival this weekend. So we are here with his friend CJ. Um, and we're gonna have a really fun time where we've been checking it out. I'm just gonna do little snippets here and there while we're um, hanging out at the Renaissance Festival here in Shakopee, Minnesota. Yeah. With a very throwing spears. With lots of throwing <laughs> spears. So we're just gonna do some fun things and well, we'll take you along so with us. It's Javelins, javelin. right? Yeah. So. Throwing spear, javelin, kind of the same difference. Kind, kind of the same. So kind of. we'll take you along. Yeah, well, you gotta up that gravy train. Nothing better to do. <laughs> we are awaiting the return of Richard. Who's he, the tall boy? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think that might be the jousting area down there. Yeah. So apparently there's an elephant here, which is awesomely cool, and a freaking camel. It's a really pretty elephant. giant chess going on. We found the ponies. Finally. I need something really small. Oh guy doing it. Mm hmm That's so cool. You should learn how to do this. 
He's gotten to be more flexible than what he already is. Right. Toberfest. Hey, go home! <laughs> you Come home! They said something about YouTube. Did you hear it? The German Shepherd is gorgeous. I want a pure black German Shepherd. Okay, that can be the third and last dog. <laughs> <laughs> Says you. You have it on video now. Nah. -uh. Third and last. I highly nope. doubt that's going to be the case. Well, I, what I meant was you have it on video that we can get one. Okay, sure. It would take a lot of extra persuading to get more than... I don't know, four or five. Four, <laughs> four or five dogs? Okay, I can handle that. It's a beautiful fall day out on this crisp morning. And Rolo and I just got done rollerblading. We ran approximately um, five and a half miles or so. And then we did some training stuff. Sit! And now he's just watching the world go by as I catch my breath and drink some water. I'm going to give some water to Rolo too here in just a moment. So, did that fun stuff. And we went along the Heartland Trail, which is a nice trail um, that goes through central Minnesota. I probably should have gotten some video of us rollerblading and running because he runs so fast. But I'm always afraid, especially when it's... um in the mornings with all the dew and all the, the sidewalks are a little wetter um, or the pavement the pavement is a little wetter so I always just take precaution and try not to be distracted because otherwise I feel like I'm gonna biff it and fall and break an arm or something which would not be good so um, maybe next time or maybe we'll go on a short little walk on it so that I can show you some of the really pretty fall colors and just some of the the sights and scenes and we actually saw four deer today which is crazy I haven't ever seen a, any deer on this trail before so Rolo chased after a squirrel he's pretty happy up about that he's been a little rambunctious lately so I figured a nice good long run would be healthy for him and then we did some agility training so we're going up and down we've been going up and down the uh, the picnic tables that are way over there. We went up and down the picnic tables and then we weaved through these little white poles and he did very well. So we're getting some training for him as well. I wanted to tell you guys that I'm gonna be taking Rolo to a dog trainer. Um, it's a class not not a one-on-one -on -one thing. Rolo! <laughs> so the training class that we're gonna be going to on Monday nights um, is going to be a puppy kindergarten, I think. Um, and then if he graduates, then from that we're going to do the canine good citizen course. Um, and maybe eventually from there, um, they also do service dog training as well. So maybe we'll get Rolo, get Rolo a job. Rolo, come here. Do you want a job? Do you want a job? Do you want to be a therapy dog? Huh? Or do you want to be a, I, I don't know, search and rescue? Don't mind my messy car, by the way. Actually, it's pretty clean. Not gonna lie, that's pretty clean for my car. Anyways, <laughs> Rolo. I'd really love to do search and rescue with him because he does really well with that. I feel like, um, after, with playing with our toys and throwing them into the long grass and the weeds uh, at the lake house, um, he he really finds the ball really well whenever we throw it in there, especially if it's super deep. We'll see how it goes in, in winter time too, because you know, your toys get lost in the snow. So maybe he'll be able to find it in the snow. Isn't that right? Puppy dog. So now we're going to go back to work. Rolo gets to rest for a little bit. I've got some water for the Rolo dog. Can you sit? Sit. Stay. Okay. He usually guesses when I'm going to give him water. <laughs> I release him from his sit. Though he doesn't always listen. But he's learning. He's getting better. Isn't that right, puppy dog? <laughs> 